Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. Today what we're looking at is a mess created by smashing up three of these capacitors here. Um, I've done that for two reasons. The first reason is I've got about 20 of these capacitors. They're 8kV, 0.05 microfarad. Um, I'm just curious to see how they're made and what the inside is composed of. And the second reason is that I was running a few of these on some spark gap tests recently. Uh, three of them blew up, so I thought I would take the opportunity to have a look inside and see where they blew, how they blew, and um, to see how disastrous it was inside. So um, let's go and strip them down, have a look inside, and uh, see what's happened. You can see the blow out there. It's all charred up. Literally blown. Blown chunks right through. Let's see if we can unroll that a bit further. Wow, that is really, really blown. As you can really see how that's just burnt right through. There you go. That one is what I would call fully fried. That's it. So it started right about here. Now an interesting feature to note is that on the end caps here, on the inside, um, what we had was a bunch of these plastic insulators here um, to insulate the capacitor plates from the end cap. But um, on the inside here you can see this plastic sleeve here which contains little beads of desiccant material like a silica gel or something. Um, Here's a couple of pieces that I've pulled out, so you can see it's a solid bead. Uh, it must just be there to absorb the moisture inside the capacitor. So that's the terminal inside the capacitor, and that's the threaded stud on the outside. That's the blowout right there. right at the end and you can see how these are made we've got one two layers of plastic on the outside one layer of foil one two three layers of plastic as the dielectric in the middle and a second layer of foil and then one more piece of insulating plastic on the inside. About halfway through they soldered these tabs into place here. Actually they're not even soldered. Little aluminium tabs that are actually stuck on with some sort of aluminium tape. Literally just stuck on like that. 
I think that's a bit bodgy, but anyway, not much of a connection, but most of the time the blowout seems to be near the end of the capacitor anyway, so as is the case in this third one here. You can see the blowout always happens closer to the centre. I'm guessing that's because of the um, radius of curvature which is a lot tighter near the centre. It's a lot more prone to blow out through higher voltages. There you go. Three capacitors completely blown out. Okay, that's about all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments.